Hi class, uh, this is a, um, a video I'm creating using my Captivate software, Adobe Captivate, to help you with the simulation that's found in Chapter 7. I think uh, basically Chapter 7 is, talks about the sampling distribution of the mean, which is basically what are the characteristics of the average. And the simulation basically gets you to see these concretely as opposed to abstractly and theoretically by actually creating averages. Now in this case we're going to create averages based on random numbers from 0 to 9 and we'll pick 5 of them. So in order to use the rand between to generate the numbers we have to use a add-in. So the first step in Microsoft 2007 might be a little bit different but I did demonstrated that. So let's ask for the analysis tool pack, the VPA tool pack, hit OK. We're now going to use the equal sign brand between parenthesis 0, 9. That has the effect of picking a random number between 0 and 9. In this case, the computer picked a 1. Let's take that random number and drag it over four more times for a total of five numbers. Let's take these five numbers and calculate the average. So the formula for the average is found up here with a sigma, the capital sigma symbol. Let's get the average. And it's 3.2. And we know the average between 0 and 9 should be around 4.5. So in this particular case, slightly low. Um, many low numbers with one high number, the number 9. Let's drag this down 200 times to create the 200 groups. Oops, once too far group to 200 numbers that's required for the assignment seems to be the hardest part and now we have a column F which consists of five uh, 200 random averages where each average is based on now notice it changed and that's because um, every the computer is dynamic and every time you do it so let's copy this whole thing copy Let's, let's put it over here, let's paste it, paste special. I mentioned this in some other videos and other documentation. But let's paste special. And let's calculate just the values. So this way it won't be changing anymore. We're not, we're not transferring the formulas. All right, so let's focus for now on, on column M. So one of the assignments is to calculate the average of column M. So um, again, we know that each average, each number should be between, right, close to between 0 and 9. Each average should be around 4.5. So the average of the averages should definitely be very close to 4.5. And in fact, the mathematics of chapter 7 uh, demonstrate that. And we're going to try to see it. Uh, of course, we also it's important to measure the spread among the averages, how far these averages deviate, which of course is called the standard error of the mean, which is the sigma of the, the spread between 0 and 9, which we've calculated to be 2.87 based on formulas in chapter 5, I believe, um, divided by the square root of 5, which is comes out to 1.28. But let's, we're jumping ahead a little bit. So what's the average of column M? So we say average, oops, let's put it over here, average equals, no, let's not go to column, average and it's the average of M5, of M1, through M200. Let's we'll see if that works. Yes, it is. 4.419. That's very, very close to the, the correct average. Now, the standard error of the mean, which we know is the spread from average to average, which is the width of that normal bell-shaped curve, is sigma over n, which is 2.87 over the square root of 5. I just said sigma over the square root of n, which comes out to 1.28. So let's do that. Equals standard deviation of m1 colon m200. I, I, I picked the wrong formula. So let's see. Let's go to the sigma formula. Some more functions. There's got to be a standard deviation function. STDEV. 
So that was my mistake. Getting back here, let's st. I gave two d's. There it is, 1.22, very close to the theoretical 1.28. Next, we know the bell, these averages should fall along a bell-shaped curve. Well, I'll let you do the rest of this, uh, part C, D, E, F, whatever. Uh, and of course, you let me know if there are problems or questions. Again, this is in response to one student who was having trouble with the simulation. Let's end it here, okay? Bye-bye, guys.